Hello everyone, I am here to present to you the solution to this topic thyristors for layer device application and sample problems. For problem number one, a four layer diode is biased in the forward blocking region with an anode to cathode voltage of 20 volts. Under this bias condition, the anode current is 1 microampere. Determine the resistance of the diode in the forward blocking region. So for the solution, the resistance which is needed for this problem can be solved by using the basic Ohm's law. As uh, you can see, the given R, the voltage, and the current. So reviewing back Ohm's law, we can use the formula resistance is equal to voltage over current. We just simply substitute the values given and we will arrive at the correct answer. The resistance across the diode in the forward block region is 20 mega ohms. Okay, for the next problem, this is just similar to problem number one. The only difference is that the anode current is changed to 2 microamperes. The rest is the same. So we will apply the same solution, which is using Ohm's law, wherein the resistance is equal to voltage over current. Using the same solution and substituting the given, we will arrive at the correct answer of 10 mega ohms. Okay, for this uh, last problem, sample problem number 3, Given this uh, circuit, determine the value of the anode current of the next figure when the device is on. The VBRF or the forward blocking region is equal to 100 volt. Assume VBE of 0.7 volts and VCE saturated at 0.1 volts for the internal transistor structure. What is the resistance in the forward conduction region of the four-layer diode? So there are two items being looked into this problem, the anode current and the resistance in the forward conduction region. So first, let's focus on the anode current. So the anode current is the current passing through the anode part of this diode. So remember, uh, this area is the anode and the lower part is the cathode. And actually, the anode current is the same current passing through the whole circuit, which is in series configuration. So for us, in order to determine the anode current, uh, we can use this loop by using KVL. So we have here the voltage bias. We have here the voltage across the resistor, which is actually equal to the resistance times the anode current and the last voltage is the voltage drop across the anode to cathode when this diode is on. So that is equivalent to an equation of voltage bias is equal to voltage across the resistor plus the voltage across the diode. So here is the solution. So note that the diode will turn on as the voltage bias of 110 volts exceeded the break, uh, the blocking region forward voltage of 100 volts. So the voltage across the resistor by KBL is, so voltage across the resistor is equal to voltage bias minus the voltage across the diode or V bias minus VAK. However, there is no given VAK or the voltage across the diode. What was given is the VCE and the VBE of the equivalent internal transistors of the diode. And this is the equivalent circuit. So if we will recall on the lecture, so when the diode is on, the current will pass through the first transistor and we could use here the VCE saturated or the voltage across CE 
when the, the transistor is on and the current will flow through the second transistor and we can capture here VBE with a standard voltage of 0.7 volt. So the voltage across the whole diode is equivalent to VCE plus VBE. So or VAK equals to VBE plus VCE sat. Substituting the given, that is equal to 0.7 volts plus 0.1 volt or equal to 0.8 volt. So getting VAK, we can finally use the equation using the KVL across this loop, which is the voltage across RS is equal to V bias minus V across the diode. Substituting the given, that is equal to 110 volts minus 0.8 volts or equal to 109.2 volts. And finally, getting the anode current IA, you just need to use Ohm's law. So voltage across this resistor is equals to the current IA times RS. And IA is what we are looking for. So IA is therefore VRS over RS. Substituting the computed value of VRS, 109.2 volts divided by the resistor value of 1 kilo ohm, that is equal to 109.2 milliamps. And this will be the final answer. Okay, another thing being uh, determined in sample problem number 3 is the resistance in the forward conduction region of the 4 layer diode. So this is just simple. The solution can be determined by using the Ohm's law. So we've, since uh, we have already determined VAK and IA from the previous solution, I uh, will just need to substitute those uh, answers to this equation and thus we will arrive at the final answer RAK is equal to 7.326 ohms. Okay, that's all. Thank you.